Most of us wouldn't know what to do in an emergency if we're suddenly faced with one. By planning for such events and rehearsing our actions, we can react faster and more effectively when a crisis presents itself. This is the role of simulation exercises. They help us practice our response and also help us to identify where our response might be lacking. When it comes to managing public health emergencies, the World Health Organization promotes the use of simulation exercises to ensure that effective emergency response systems are in place and these are practiced so that plans and procedures are more than just abstract documents. By conducting simulation exercises, countries can test their plans before disasters strike in an environment that is safe and constructive. Simulation exercises are broken down into discussion-based and operational-based exercises. WHO promotes the use of both exercise categories, where four main types are identified. Tabletop exercises are discussion-based exercises, where facilitated discussions about possible emergencies are discussed in an informal, low-stress environment. They don't necessarily require an existing response plan to be in place, however, this is strongly recommended. Drills are the first type of operational exercise. Drills are used to test a single operation or function within a response plan, in a repeated fashion. It aims to practice or rehearse a specific function and are therefore often used as training tools for teams to effectively perform their task, skill or operation. To be as realistic as possible, drills use the same equipment as in a real emergency. Functional exercises are also operational exercises and enhance the capability of a single organization to respond to a time-pressured, realistic situation by assessing the multiple functions that make up the operational plan before, during or after the simulated emergency. Functional exercises often focus on coordination, communication and collaboration of the organization that is being exercised. Field or full-scale exercises are the final operational-based exercise that simulate real events as closely as possible and are designed to evaluate emergency management systems in highly stressful environments, such as a simulated disease outbreak. FSX mobilize emergency personnel, equipment and resources in a field location and involve multiple agencies, organizations and participants. While each exercise is different, they share common principles and there is often significant overlap. For instance, a field exercise is often a combination of a functional exercise together with several drills. Exercises are not one-time events but should be part of a comprehensive emergency risk management plan. Following the risk assessment, the purpose and objective of the exercise should be clearly defined, taking into account the needs and available resources of the targeted group. To assist with this, WHO has produced an exercise decision tree to help ministries of health, WHO offices and partner agencies decide which exercises to use and how to plan, design, implement and evaluate them. In addition, WHO has published an exercise manual that provides guidance, templates, tools and checklists that enable simulation exercises to be carried out consistently and at all levels from small-scale community exercises to national, regional and global exercise initiatives. WHO's global team of simulation exercise experts provides advice and support while also developing and maintaining resources, including online and face-to-face -face training materials. Through simulation exercises, public health teams across the world can be better equipped for real emergencies, improving the health and well-being of communities everywhere. If you are planning to conduct a simulation exercise and want WHO's advice or support, please contact the WHO country or regional office directly or have a look at the links below for more information.